Hello students, welcome to EPG. I am N. Gayatri, Assistant Professor of Interior Design and Decor. Let's see the topic of Greenhouse Technology. We will see Green Technology that is Agriculture is the backbone of India's economic activity and our experience during the last 50 years has demonstrated the strong correlation between agricultural growth and economic prosperity. The present agricultural scenario is a mix of outstanding achievements and mixed opportunities. If India has to emerge as an economic power in the world, our agriculture productivity should equal those activities which are currently rated as economic power of the world. We need a new and effective technology which can improve continuously the productivity, profitability, sustainability of our major farming systems. One such technology is the greenhouse technology, although it is centuries old but it is new to India. Greenhouse technology. Growing plants in both an art and science, about 95% of plants either food crops or cash crops are grown in open field. Since time immemorial, man has learnt how to grow plants under natural environmental conditions. In somehow, the temperature regions where the climatic conditions are extremely adverse and no crops can be grown. Man has developed methods of growing some high value plants continuously by providing protection from the excessive cold which is called greenhouse technology. Greenhouse technology is the technique of providing favorable environmental conditions to the plants. Greenhouses are structures used to start and grow plants year rounded with walls and roof made by transparent materials such as glass in which plants requiring regulated climatic conditions. The structure of greenhouse ranges in size from small sheds to large industrial sized buildings. The purpose of greenhouse is exposed to sunlight becomes significantly warmer than the external ambient temperature and to protect the plants in cold weather. It should be under the environmentally controlled conditions. It should be located to receive the maximum amount of sunlight. Further, greenhouses control temperatures, moisture, ventilation and climate. Students, let's go to the topic of history of greenhouse. The plan of growing vegetables and fruits under environmentally controlled conditions has existed since Roman times. The gardeners of Roman used the greenhouse technology of growing cucumbers every day. Cucumbers were planted in wheel carts and raised in sunny day and then taken to inside of their large space and keep them at night for warm. Initially, the temperature of greenhouse was measured manually in 15th century in Korea. The Victorian era was the golden period of greenhouse in England where the largest greenhouses were conceived and constructed. Let's see the aims of greenhouses. There are three purposes of greenhouse include the first one is provide a controlled environment for plants grown on a large scale. Second one is grow plants in areas where outdoor growth during winter seasons is not possible. Third one is extend the growing season for plants that would normally go dormant. For optimal growth of plants, the temperature in greenhouse is controlled and monitored. Plant growth in a greenhouse also depends upon moisture, that is humidity. Moisture aids in helping plants maintain the shape and nutrient transport. The amount of water needed by plants depends on the type of plants and the conditions outside the greenhouse. Ventilation or the movement and exchange of air is important for optimum growth of plants. Ventilation helps to ensure the proper temperature and humidity in the greenhouse. When considering greenhouse, the climate of the area must also be considered. The climate will directly influence the structure and the heating and the cooling system. Let's see the advantages of greenhouses. The yield may be 10 to 12 times higher than that of outdoor cultivation depending upon the type of greenhouses. 
type of crops environmental control facilities reliability of crop increases under greenhouse cultivation ideally suited for vegetable and flower crops this greenhouse is it is a year round production of floriculture crops off season production of vegetables and fruit crops also can be cultivated this is free and genetically superior transplants can be produced continuously requirement of water for plants is limited and is easy to control then it helps to protect pest and predators it helps to create the optimum growing environment it helps to protect plants from poor weather it gives the concept of go green in our houses we can grow plants without dangerous pesticides and helps to protect the beneficial insects into the greenhouse it helps to easy to construct in houses gives pleasure to grow healthy plants and vegetables it helps to free from stress modern techniques of hydroponics terrace cultivation aeroponics and nutrient film techniques are possible under only greenhouse cultivation students let's go to the futures of greenhouse Greenhouses can be constructed in different types of materials. They are aluminium, iron, steel, concrete blocks or wood. Materials used to cover the greenhouse can be glass, soft plastic. That is soft plastic includes polythene, vinyl or polyvinyl fluoride. Fiberglass, shade fabric, acrylic rigid panels or polycarbonate rigid panels. Some shapes for greenhouses are detached. That is A frame truss quincer style and rich furrow there are also called cold frames hot beds and lath houses greenhouse management involves a highly specialized and unique area of horticulture requiring a strong understanding of plant growth and development crop production growing media fertilization mineral nutrition water quantity and quality growth regulators and disease and pest management Greenhouse managers must also have a good understanding of environmental management, heating and cooling system. Let's see the classifications of greenhouses. Greenhouses may be classified based on the following three different materials. The first one is covering material, second one is based on environmental control, third one is based on shape. Let's see one by one types of greenhouses based on covering material. So based on covering material, totally there are three types. First one is glass house, plastic house, shade net house. So under that glass house, this is the earliest type of greenhouses. Greenhouses have long lifespan, are the least affected by weather, non-combustible, resistant to UV radiations and air pollutants. Glass requires regular cleaning to maximum light transmission. Let's go to plastic house. Modern plastics provide an alternative to traditional glass for covering the glass house. Plastic glazings include rigid plastic, structured panels like fiberglass, reinforced polyester that is FRP, polycarbonate that is PC, polycarbonate, acrylic, then polymethyl, methacrylate that is PMMA, polyvinyl chloride that is PVC and ethylene vinyl acetate copolymer. These materials are commonly used in single, double and even triple layers to cover the greenhouse. Let's go to shade net house. These are hand woven nets with different light transmission capacity. Shading is often the most suitable procedure to overcome high humidity and temperature or low humidity in the greenhouse or outdoors. Light waves passed, passing through the nets are affected by the shade created by shade and weave of net threads by net quality and material surface. Types of greenhouse based on environmental control. Greenhouses falls into three categories based on the extent of environmental control. That is, first one is fully environmental control. That is, high cost or high tech greenhouses with all operations that is computerly controlled. Second is only moderate control is adopted in partially controlled medium cost greenhouses. Next is only natural ventilation is utilized in naturally ventilated. 
lentilized that is it is a low cost greenhouses next type of greenhouses is based on shape the first one is lean to design this is used when a greenhouse is placed against the side of a fen existing building this design makes the best use of sunlight and minimizes the requirement for roof support in actual practice lean to type is the cheapest to build next is even span greenhouse in this method the two roof slopes are of equal width it is also easy to build third one is uneven span greenhouse this has roofs of unequal width which make the structure adaptable to the side of a hill this is rarely used now because they are adaptable for automation next is ridge and furrow type the other name is multi span ridge and furrow refer to two or more greenhouses connected to one another along the length of greenhouse the side wall is eliminated since it has a single interior it is generally used for carnations rows potmans or crops that can tolerate comparable environmental conditions next type is gothic that is pointed roof it is highly efficient have a pleasant appearance and withstand wind due to its curved superstructure next is quinsett that is semi circular type the roof of this type of greenhouse will be semi circular in shape the roof covering may be either polythene fiberglass or polycarbonate panels next is gome shaped that is ground to ground type these can be constructed by using steel tubing and either single or double polythene cover next is tunnels tunnels are whenever plants are to be protected from cold and frost for very short periods tunnels of about 2 meter height can be made by bending bamboo or steel tubes and covering with polythene the poly cover and the tubing can be removed after use and store for future use so students we can see some of the three different types of basic greenhouse styles next we'll see about the working principle of greenhouse solar energy enters the greenhouse as a short wavelength radiation some amount reflects back and some hits on greenhouse objects and flows and turns into long wavelength radiations the covering material is selective to these radiations the cover is opaque to long wavelength and it is trapped inside and increases the temperature also inside this is the principle of greenhouse environmental control inside a greenhouse can be achieved by greenhouse cooling shading and heating generally the temperature inside the greenhouse will always be higher than the ambient conditions depending on location season and extent of ventilation provided when ambient temperature rises the inside temperature also rises and this is not ideal for production of good quality crop next we'll see about the construction of greenhouse the first one is site selection the site must selected should have proper drainage facility a greenhouse needs dependable source of good quality water and electricity greenhouse should be located away from the buildings and trees to avoid obstruction of sunlight second one is orientation in single span greenhouse the orientation can be in any direction but multi span greenhouses should be oriented in north south direction in order to avoid shading effect a free standing greenhouses that had its long axis perpendicular to the wind was relatively free from wind damages next one is fabrication of frame a poly house of 300 to 500 square meter area would be desirable for growing commercial flowers to reduce cost of construction depending on the size and durability of the structure use of mild steel or gi pipes as structural frame is desirable next is covering and cladding glazing material materials should be selected according to type of greenhouses climate of place crop requirement and economics in india polythene film acrylic and shade nets are commonly used as covering materials students next we'll see about the requirements of greenhouses for construction of or requirement of greenhouses we need bed or bench preparation most of the flower crops are either grown in raised beds or in metallic 
benches. Orientation of beds should be towards length of greenhouses so that 45 to 60 percent of floor area can be utilized. Second one is medium. Soil is the natural growing medium for most of the greenhouses from economical considerations but it has drainage, pest and disease problems. Next one is irrigation and or fertigation. Automatic watering systems through drips or overhead foggers are generally used depending on crop. Next is choice of cultivar. In India, major demand is for deep color and it changes with season and occasion, color, productivity, disease resistance, vast life, growth rate, market demand and other characters also considered. Next we will see about the components of greenhouses. The, there are first one is roof. Roof it transparent cover of a greenhouse. Cable it is a transparent wall of a greenhouse. Cladding material. This is a transparent material mounted on the walls and roof of a greenhouse. Rigid cladding material. This is a cladding material with such a degree of rigidity that any deformation of the structure may result in damage to it. Flexible cladding material. Okay, this is a cladding material with such a degree of flexibility that any deformation of the structure will not result in damage to it. Gutter. It collects and drains rain water and snow which is placed to an elevated level between two spans. Column. This is a vertical structure member carrying the greenhouse structure. Ridge. It is a highest horizontal section in top of the roof. Gidda. It is a horizontal structure member connecting columns on gutter height. Arches. It is a member supporting covering materials. Foundation pipe. This is a connection between the structure and ground. Span width. This is a cover to center distance or the gutters in multi-span houses. Greenhouse length. This is a dimension of the greenhouse in the direction of cable. Greenhouse width. This is a dimension of the greenhouse in the direction of the gutter. Purlin. It is a member who connects cladding supporting bars to the columns. Next we will see about the greenhouses commonly used for commercial purposes. They are cold frames. Let's see what is the meaning of cold frames. Traditional cold frames were essentially commonly used boxes in which to grow plants. They had low brick walls and transparent glass lids or lights that could be opened or closed. They were often built on the sides of greenhouses as a sort of halfway house between indoors and outdoors. Next is cloches. Cloches can be moved from one part of the vegetable patch to another. Cloches are made of glass and clear plastic. They are useful at the beginning and end of the year. At the start of the season, they warm the soil before sowing or planting. Then maintain the temperature as seeds germinate and the seedlings develop. At the end of a season, they offer extra protection while late. Harvesting crops ripen. Next is tunnel cloches. They are called as a continuous polytunnels. Tunnel cloches are made from clear plastic film or fleece stretched over wire hoops. Students, next we will see about the media preparation for greenhouse production. The media used in greenhouse generally have physical and chemical properties which are distinct from field soils. Yes, desirable medium should be a good balance between physical properties like water holding capacity and porosity. The medium should be well drained. Medium which is too compact problems of drainage and aeration which will lead to poor root growth and may cause disease organisms. Highly porous medium will have low water and nutrient holding capacity affects the plant growth and development. The media reaction pH of 5.0 to 7.0 and the soluble salt level should be 0.4 to 1.4 is optimum for most of the greenhouse crops. A low media pH leads to toxicity of micronutrients such as iron, zinc, manganese and copper and deficiency of major and secondary nutrients while a pH causes deficiency of nutrients including boron. A high pH of the media can be reduced by amendments like 
sulfur, gypsum, acidic fertilizers like ammonium sulfate. It is essential to maintain a temperature of the plug mix between 70 to 75 degree Fahrenheit. Irrigation through mist is a must in plug mix growing. Misting for 20 minutes on cloudy days and 12 seconds every 6 minutes on sunny days is desirable. The pH of water and a mix should be monitored regularly. Students, so let's will see about the current maintenance of greenhouses. For maximizing the potential of greenhouse, the following 5 steps are essential to take care of the longevity of the plants. First one is arrange the plants with care. The additional warmth and protection from wind and rain that greenhouse provide long way to help your plants. Some plants thrive in bright sunshine while others prefer full or partial shade and ensure that you provide with an environment that will allow them to flourish. Next is add shelving and staging. Maximize the available space in greenhouse with shelves and staging which can increase the growing potential. Make sure that shelves are situated at a comfortable height for watering the plants. Next is watering the plants. Watering the floor of greenhouse in the regular interval can help to lower the temperature as it allows inspecting the progress. Next is fixing the provision of lighting facilities. Adding an electricity socket to greenhouse allows not only to heat the surface but also to light it. A small 20 watts bulb will allow making the plants all year round. Students, so next we will see about the do's and don'ts of greenhouse technology. Do's that is select the greenhouse site as near as possible to the marketing site. There should be enough room for the hot air to escape from the greenhouse with a comfortable vent space. Next is orientation of the greenhouse should not be against the normal wind flow. The fabricated greenhouse should be strong enough to withstand a wind pressure of at least 100 km per hour. The soil under the greenhouse must be fumigated and the beds should be prepared with proper composition of compost, sand and soil before plantation. A steel fabricated greenhouse covered with good quality UV stabilized polythene sheet should not exceed a cost of rupees 600 to 700 per square meter. Next we'll see about the don'ts of greenhouse. Do not choose a site which will have a extremities of climate like high temperature and high rainfall. Do not use too much of water as it encourages diseases. Do not use over dosage of fertilizer as it increases the soil. Do not allow the greenhouse produce to desiccate. So students let's conclude plants grown under cover Greenhouse are easier to protect from predators such as birds, mice, butterflies, moths and other insects while they are still small, tender and at their most but they are most vulnerable. A protected microclimate in which can sow seeds and raise seedlings and plants is easier and protect from all the season through greenhouse technology. Thank you.